Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and I've gone through quite an ordeal, but it's not over yet. It looks like there's a massive amount of Heartless in front of me, and we're gonna have to deal with it. I've switched back to Circle of Life. I think it'll be more, more, uh, useful to me in this part. Let's plunge into the breach. What's with them? Hey! It's the guy who's that handsome. You mean it's his nobody? The leader of Organization 13. Wait a minute. Now I know. Wise Ansem, I am here to seek your advice. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis. And I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, I'm concerned about the stability of the worlds. Yup. That's what worries me, too. The doors that appeared. The place the heartless seek. I fear my research may have brought this upon us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. Now I remember, Xehanort, Ansem's apprentice. The leader of Organization 13 is Xehanort's nobody. Let's go! Move it! We can't let Xehanort get away! Right! Defeat a million jillion heartless. Don't worry. I'm sure it's just like Burly Brawl from uh, Path of Neo. I'm not really going to need to fight all of these heartless, right? A lot of them are probably just for show, right? Right? Nope, I need to kill all of them. Every single one of them. Which would be vastly more fun if I was allowed to use my drive gauges, but since there's no one with me, I can't. Can't use my drive gauge, can't use my summon gauge. I just gotta whack them all. That's okay. I'll destroy them. Every single one of them. I've got the power. I've got the finesse. I've got the ability to light on fire and then fly back and forth. There's pretty much only two, uh, two commands that you can use to take them out, but they're both very useful. I mean, you look right there, I just killed like 20. There's a counter! I've already killed 110 of them. Ah! There's the other move. Sparkle Ray! Eat sparkles, defiled fools. Ah! Fire! But yeah, I gotta kill them all. If I could just use my drive gauge, it would all be different, wouldn't it? Uh, 
But again, the reason they don't let you do that is because they don't want you to, like, max out your drive gauge in this one fight. You could definitely drive max out, um, wisdom for him instantly. But so what? They should have let you do it. Suspend the rules a little bit. Or have Donald and Goofy join you. Come on. Because otherwise, this is just ridiculous. No. Oh, well. Cool in concept, not so much in execution. I also probably should have equipped Explosion. I think this would have gone much faster. Come on, Sparkly. Ah! Snag! Sparkle Ray! What else can I do? Uh, let's jump in. Trinity! Ah! Great! It's actually decently effective. There goes all my magic. But Circle of Life has empty haste, so I'll have my magic back pretty soon. Not that they can really do too much to me. Rising Sun! I'm the Keyblade Master. You're all just fodder. You get about 24 experience for each of these guys, too. And there's a thousand of them, in case you're wondering, about a third of the way through. Yeah. Death. Yep. Equip explosion. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that helps a lot. Oh god, look at all of them. That was a good one. Can I get me some sparkling rays? I can indeed. That just tears through them. Oops, screw that up. Rising sun. Sun rises to banish the darkness. Uh, magnet, damn it! Magnet! Ha! All in one spot? Let's light him on fire. Fire band! Ooh, fire band. You should totally play Saga Frontier too. My last name Knights comes from that game, after all. Uh, probably not. Snag! Snag? Rising Sun! You just don't want me to do the sparkle right, huh? Doesn't matter, because half of you are already dead. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Come here. Come here, little guy. Come here. That. That. Zinya! So despite the fact that I want to keep this cinematic and ridiculous, I mean, I have to do commentary over this. What can I say? I'm just doing the same thing over and over. So yeah, I'm, uh... Well, I'm sure it's up by now, unless I've, I've been really slow on it, but my... My thousand subscriber video is up! It is up in there! At least the two parts of that are definitely up. Probably all three parts are up by now. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making it. So thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone. Alright. <laughs> Uh, almost 700 defeated. We're doing pretty well here. Sparkle Ray! Yeah, all these guys aren't just backdrops. You can go up to them and kill them. Be all like, lightning. <laughs> Completely useless for this fight. Fire is actually kind of useful, though. Stops her from being hit, can defeat large clumps, and even reflect... Oh my god, look at all of them. you got to be kidding me. Rising Sun. Cut short. Into aerial combo. It's those rays. It's the sparkle rays that do it, man. Ah, oh, don't you disappear, you cheaters. Freaking disappearing cheater bots. Maybe some of them are just for show. It's all an illusion. But yeah, more energy variety would have been interesting too, but they probably couldn't. There's likely a limit to how many guys they can process on the screen at once. Snag. Ah! Got them all. Come here, little buddy. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Woo! Cutting into him now. Watch this. Reflect! Reflect! Death! Death all around me. Ah. Only 100 left. That is nothing for the true Keyblade Master. Rising Sun! Hope Donald and Goofy are doing alright, because they gotta go after Xehanort themselves. 
Though I have a feeling they're kind of tied up just like me. Air combo boost and magic increased. There's only 50 of you left. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you guys. <laughs> Pathetic. Rising Sun. Your Rising Sun kills everything in one hit, so... <laughs> if you hit him normally, it takes a little bit longer. Just a tad. Yeah. Ice. Ice. No. Looks like magic takes him out in pretty much one hit also. Five left. Snipe them. Pathetic. Come here, buddy. C come here. You're the last one left. Rising Sun! Obtained guard break. Well, that only took ten minutes. Huh. has it been since I abandoned that name? Out with it, nobody! Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? I know nothing of any Kyrie. As for Riku, perhaps you should ask your king. Stop! He's gone. What's going on? Way to fall right into their trap. Come on, it's a setup by Organization 13. Xemnas is using you to destroy the Heartless. That's his big master plan. Xemnas? The guy you just saw. He's their leader. Got it memorized? X-E-M-N-A-S. Organization 13 wants to get rid of the Heartless? Man, you're slow. Every Heartless slain with that Keyblade releases a captive heart. That is what the organization is after. So what do those guys gonna do with your hearts? I'm not telling. Tell us! You! You're the one who kidnapped Kyrie. Bingo. The name's Axel. Got it memorized. Where is Kyrie? Please, just tell me. Look, about Kyrie, I'm sorry. Axel. Uh oh. We'll ensure he receives the maximum punishment. I don't care about any of that. Just let me into the realm of darkness, okay? If it's Kyrie you're worried about, don't. We're taking very good care of her. Take me to her. Is she that important to you? Yeah, more than anything. 
Show me how important. Please. So you really do care for her? In that case, the answer is no. You run! Are you angry? Do you hate me? Then take that rage and direct it at the Heartless. Pitiful Heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. And yet, they know not the true power of what they hold. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. What in the world do you think you're prattling on about? Kingdom hearts belongs to me. The heart of all kingdoms. The heart of all that lives. A dominion fit to be called Kingdom Hearts must be my dominion! Maleficent, no! No more Heartless! I do not take orders from you! Fool. Oh no! While I keep these creatures at bay, you devise a way to vanquish them forever! Maleficent! Do not misunderstand me. I shall have my revenge on you yet. Maleficent! Leave now! I don't take orders from you! <laughs> but what about. Now then, where did we leave off? Side you guys on anyway. The heartless ally with whoever's the strongest. Yes, Sora. Extract more hearts. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? Ansem's report number one. A very telling report, if I understand it. Yeah, Maleficent understands more than anyone else that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. She realizes that the organization could be an even great th greater threat to her than me. So I gotta say I like that. I will read that report in a little bit. Sora! Donald! Goofy! Relax. Those three aren't going down that easily. The Keyblade's chosen one. He's a lucky kid. See you soon.
I guess sometimes help comes from unexpected places. Sure does. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? What's this place? It must be the realm of darkness. Kyrie, Riku. What? Who's there? Why would that? Are you sure you want to open that? Gorge! It's the gang from Twilight Town. There's Hainer, Hence, Olette, and, uh, um... Roxas. Yogarama! No. The name just popped into my head. This is Roxas. Are you sure you want to eat that? Salty. No. Sweet. And magical. Not yet. I gotta look for Kyrie. Ice cream. Except it's a popsicle, damn it. Why would ice cream be on a popsicle? And a picture. Familiar picture from first few episodes. Photo and some ice cream. Hmm, wonder if there's some sort of clue. And who would have left them for us anyway? Riku? You think? Just this feeling I got. Yeah! Well, I was there! Hey, what if the Heartless are back again? I can't use the Keyblade. That would only help the organization. But Sora, I think you have to use it. If we don't fight them, the Heartless will keep on hurting folks. Yep, rock and a hard place. What a crazy episode. I'm at almost half an hour, and there's only ten minutes of gameplay. Like, yeah. But that fight, man, there's a lot they could have do done to make that fight more interesting, and they just didn't do it, which is kind of disappointing. But now I can go back to a bunch of different worlds, and... Um, the Heartless situation is pretty much calmed down. I mean, Maleficent's essentially in retreat because she doesn't want to stop us anymore. But we need to deal with nobodies now, so things aren't all peachy. Now, what should I do, I wonder? You know what? Do uh, I really... I just don't want to do the Pooh missions. I gotta, I gotta be honest here. I don't want to do them at all. <laughs> you know what? Let's do the Under the Sea thing. I know that it's Under the Sea this time. If I end up needing to cut this out because I get a claim, well, this is going to be a quick visit for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll do what I can.
Yeah, that statue was a bad idea, Flounder. You're a terrible person. Aha! Excellent! We should now be able to perform the musical with ease. Let's do it. Chapter 3. Under the Sea. They spelt do wrong. Why is everything purple? Alright, this one's actually a little bit hard. I'm probably going to miss a few times, but we'll see what happens. Just gotta get Ariel's mood gauge up, and I win. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What law is you looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we devoted full time to floating under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Since life is sweet, yeah, we got the beat, yeah, naturally. Even the sturgeon and the rain, they get the urge to start to play. We got the spirit, you got to hear it under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Each little snail here know how to whale here. That's why it's hotter. Under the water. Yeah, we in luck here down in the muck here. Under, under the, the sea. sea. Well, I actually did very well there, didn't I? <laughs> Though it did help that I practiced it once before I started. So what do you think, Ariel? Oh, I think it's a great song, Sebastian. It's just, it's not what I want to sing. <gasps> I want to sing about how our two worlds can live in harmony, land and sea together. The Sea King would make chowder out of me if you sang a song like that! If you won't listen, then I'm not going to sing at all. Well, Ariel! <laughs> How do I get myself into these situations? Oh, man. Not only has that girl fallen in love at the worst possible time, but with a human! Ariel's in love with a human? <gasps> oh, me and my big mouth! You gotta think your thoughts in your head, Sebastian. You never speak them out loud. There's always someone standing behind you if you speak something like that out loud. It's the law of the universe. At least the animated universe. Oh. It's 80s guy. Is that him? Uh-huh. Let's say something. No, don't. He's a human and I'm a mermaid. I... I don't know what he'd think. What's that? Oh, this must be his. But we can't reach it. Rats. Guess we're just gonna have to wait till we get some type of magnetical power. Like a really strong one, because I gotta say, moving a statue, that's easy, but moving a pendant, that takes a massive amount of magnetic power. Really? What the balls? That doesn't make any sense at all. 
No, oh, well, whatever. Flimsy pretext to stop me from doing it ahead of time, I suppose. Let me see. Gonna end the episode. Certainly seems like a short episode. Let's go here? But I do need to read Ansem's report, and, uh... Wait, you guys are actually here? What? Just a second. Little sidetracked, I guess. Liars! What? Leon doesn't have any treasure! And we fought for you guys. Donald! Well, I had to play him something. I don't see how we're gonna work this out. So what should we do? Why do you think they would liars. trick us no, like that? We worked so hard to treasure our kingdoms. It's not fair. They'll just take responsibility for what they did. They like that. Okay. Yeah. This will be great. Good call. Okay. It's go time. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? Hmm. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hey, Uni. I took a look. And sure enough, it was a Okay, we've decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey's been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Bye. Good luck on your journey. Their entire parrot presence in the story confuses me, I must say. Come on! Gundam! Oh, the Gullwing. Greatly increases the amount of experience gained when defeating enemy at a critical moment. So it has experience boost on it, basically. Let's see here. Um, but it's kind of weaker. I'm going to use it because I haven't really used it, though. Didn't really use Proton Debugger at all, either, but... Who cares about that? But yes, the only reason I really came back here was so that I could read Ansem's report with epic music in the background. So whenever you see the little Mickey symbol next to something, yeah, maxed out. And if you want to get the super secret ending, and you're playing in normal mode, I believe you need a Mickey symbol by every single thing in every world in every journal. Which is why it's better to just play in proud mode, man. Just... Why drive yourself crazy? Ansem's report number one. My efforts for these many years have come to fruition, with the world I govern having become a paradise, worthy of being called Radiant Garden. Nurtured by the pure water that is the source of life, fragrant flowers bloom in abundance, and the people face each day with hopeful smiles. But where there is light, darkness always lurks. As noted in my earlier reports, I must solve the mystery of this darkness of the heart. This paradise depends on it. I shall perform an experience to probe the depths of a person's heart. One of my own apprentices, Xehanort, has volunteered to be a subject. The young man has served me ever since I nursed him back to health from death's door some years ago. He had lost all of his memories at that time, but later showed remarkable intelligence, curiosity, and readiness to absorb my teachings, gaining deep wisdom. Any mental immaturity is surely just due to his young age. If I explore Xehanort's heart with psychological tests, I may be able to recall the past that is locked within him. My apprentice even has shown great interest in Xehanort's memories. But is he really the right subject? Xehanort does indeed exhibit extraordinary talents. Too extraordinary. Perhaps they're even superhuman. So, we have found out that Xehanort is actually the culprit behind pretty much all of the crap that happened last time. It was not Ansem. He was just using Ansem's name. So, Xehanort was the Heartless that we defeated. And now we have to deal with this damn nobody. A little bit of dying doesn't seem to stop this man. But there he is, Xehanort, the apprentice of Ansem's the Wise. 
And there it is. Uh, what is it? Zamness? I was told that all of the names of the nobodies are anagrams of their names with an X in them, but that's clearly not true. There's no T in his name. But, you know, they're related, but they're not exact. I mean, is the rule that you're, you're allowed to, like, chuck out some letters, too? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. There are a few of them that do perfectly anagram, I know that. Well, one specifically. But then is Axel's? Was Axel's named L? That seems limiting. I mean, he probably had letters eliminated out of his name also. But that's all for this episode. I have no idea where I'm going to go next time. It could be the Land of Dragons. It could be Beast's Castle. It's probably going to be one of those two. Probably Beast's Castle. I think I'll go there. Yeah. Tron World, pretty cool. All right. I'm clearly just uh, rambling at this point. So I will see you next episode where I kick more Heartless in the heart. And subsequently help the organization. But hey, what are you going to do? Not fight them? Not an option. See ya!